Britain will be battered by gale force winds, freezing temperatures and even snow as two huge storms set to arrive next week. Experts are warning a big freeze is on its way as the country is hit by an Arctic blast. The country could be plunged into sub-zero temperatures for months, caused by a prolonged period of cold in the Pacific as La Nina is brewing. This means warmer winds are blocked and replaced with an icy blast. The coldest British winter on record, in 2010, was blamed on La Nina and parts of the country were brought to a standstill for months on end as snow covered the ground and temperatures dropped to minus 13 C. Beyond. Now we will see some changes through this weekend, much more cloud around, it looks like being quite a gloomy weekend, but it won't be as frosty at night. However, we are set to see things turning colder once more as we go through next week. The big question mark, how long will the cold spell last? Now, we've got a bit of a cold spell across us at the moment. And the reason for that is we've got high pressure, a big area of high pressure that's dominant to the west of us. And it's set to stay here for quite some time. With high pressure to the west and low pressures to the east, uh, the isobars squeezing together across the UK and pointing up to the Arctic. That is where our air is coming from. And these northerly winds bringing the chill and also increasingly through Thursday, bringing more wintry showers down the eastern side of England in particular. Snow mostly over the hills, but there could well be some down to lower levels. Through Thursday night, we'll see another frost, the blue hue on the chart, and maybe on Friday a few more of those showers getting into southeastern areas. So a continued risk of frost and ice as we go through the rest of the working week. But notice by the end of Friday, a bit more clouds spilling into the far north. And that is signs of a change for the weekend. That is a warm front dancing around the top of that area of high pressure. Now, tucked in here, it's called a, a warm sector. Tucked in here is some slightly milder air. So we'll see these weather fronts pushing south this weekend and pushing the colder air back out to the near continent. So introducing slightly milder air. But it's more complicated because as well as introducing a bit milder conditions, they will be introducing more cloud. So actually, this weekend is going to be a bit of a gloom fest. It's going to be rather dull, misty and murky. Maybe a bit of drizzle here and there, but overall it will be dry. Now, I talked about milder air, but don't uh, be excited if you don't like it cold, because I still fancy it's going to feel pretty cold this weekend by day because it will be so dull and so dank. But crucially, the milder air and more cloud around means the nights won't be as frosty, so there's less risk from ice. Into the early parts of next week, and high pressure is still dominating across the UK. Monday, again, looks like being predominantly cloudy, but it shouldn't be frosty on Monday morning for most of us. However, notice up to the north there's another weather front, and this is going to be key as we go to the middle part of next week. It's a cold front, and to the north of it, we've got the cold air. Now, most of the uh, suggestions, most of the forecasts for next week, quite strong in signalling that this cold air will push southwards through the middle part of next week. So we're back to the colder air driving southwards, likely return of nighttime frosts, the risk of ice, and even some wintry showers. So midweek, it turns cold. The big question mark, what happens after that? If I just edge out of the way, you can see here the yellows, the greens, some milder air sitting out in the Atlantic. The big question mark, what happens to that milder air? Now, some of the computer models suggesting in the forecast that that milder air will push its way back towards the UK. So the cold spell may not last all that long. But some of the computer models are pushing that milder air up towards Greenland, and that allows the colder air, if anything, to push back further south across the UK. So there's big question marks about what happens at the end of next week. We're pretty confident the frost and the ice cold spell will return. There will be some wintry showers, no doubt, but it's too early to say exactly where, exactly when there'll be any snow. So stay tuned to the forecast if you're interested in that. The big question mark, as I say, the uncertainty for how long that cold spell will last. Now, thanks for sticking with me this long. I'm just going to show you one more interesting graph before I uh, finish up. This is a, a Hovmoller plot. Now, it's quite a complicated picture, but the key things you need to know on the uh, y-axis here is the date, and we're going forward in time as we go down. The dotted line is the uh, current picture, Wednesday, and then going down here, we're going into December, December the 4th, December the 5th. 
Uh, the x-axis showing longitude, where we are on Earth. Zero longitude, uh, the Greenwich Meridian, pretty much where the UK is sitting. It's important because this bright red splodge here sitting to the west of the UK suggesting that high pressure, that's what red means, high pressure will continue to dominate throughout next week sitting uh, to the west of us, meaning with high pressure there will continue to generally feed in those northerly winds, hence why it looks like staying predominantly on the cold side for at least a good part of next week and we'll see more scenes like this. As I said, stay tuned to the forecast for any updates on snow and weather warnings as always on the Met Office website or download our app.